So Yuji reached out and asked me if I wanted to try their M708 tablet. I decided to give it a go for a couple of weeks and these are my first impressions. Hey all, welcome back. This is Ariaba and if you're new to the channel, I'm an artist working in video games and animation and I make art tutorials here on YouTube. UG was kind enough to send me this tablet. They didn't sponsor this video, so this is my honest opinion about it. I don't usually do art reviews and although I've been using several tablets for several years, I'm not really an expert reviewer, so take all of these as just my honest opinion on the tablet as an artist. First of all, this is a entry-level tablet and it's pretty cheap, it costs um, 60 pounds here in the UK. When we open the box, we can find the drawing tablet that maps a portion of your screen. And you can find a micro USB cable because you need to plug it into your, your computer. It doesn't work standalone. I would have very much liked this to be a USB-C. Then we have the UG pen and the pen holder with the nibs inside. It does work with both uh, Windows and Mac. I tried it mostly on Mac and it, it worked pretty well. Now, the first impression I had when I opened the box is that the tablet, it's pretty good. It feels good at touch. The quality seems pretty premium. It does not feel cheap at all. It's also very slim. It's just eight millimeters thick. Uh, on the other hand, my first impression that I had on the pen is that it's pretty light, which is good, but I personally prefer to have some weight on the pen. It's also, it also doesn't look as ergonomic because it's all plastic and it's pretty, uh, it's pretty straight. The nib moves. I mean, it's normal for every pen to uh, move it out a little bit, but this is a little bit too much for my taste. It's a little bit annoying if uh, you are working with it for a few hours. It's nothing major. It, it's just that I'm used to pens that have more of a stability uh, of the nib. This is annoying me a little bit. By comparison, the Wacom pen has a more ergonomic shape. It has a little bit of weight to it. It doesn't have a battery, it's passive as well, but it does give me more of a weight to work with. And also it has the uh, rubber grip that makes it like more firm into my hand. I do prefer it. Now what you can find in the pen holder are some nibs and also a nib remover to remove the nib from your pen pretty much like the Wacom one. Now I tested this tablet for a couple of weeks using Krita, sketched some random animals and I did some warm up exercises. The lines are pretty good, pretty straight. Some jugging is due in all tablets, but that's completely normal. The level of pressures were really good. I could tell no difference at all between my Wacom Intus and this one. And the tilt was also pretty good, so nothing to complain on this side. After a couple of weeks of painting in Krita, what I could tell, no major issues. I tried the tablet mostly on Mac, but I also gave it a quick go on Windows and I found that the app on Windows is a little bit more customizable. Uh, you can customize the mapping on your screen a little bit more, but I didn't feel like I was missing anything important on Mac with my setup. Now, my setup is just a single monitor. I found no issues with the app on Mac or Windows. I used to have a double screen setup and I remember that for some tablets you have to have the options to map part of your screen into the tablet or depending on the application so you are not going to find that on the Mac application but it is present on the Windows app. Now if you really want to know what you can do with this tablet check out this quick time lapse of what I did with it on Krita. Let me talk about the difference between screenless tablet and screen tablets. Before buying my first iPad or Cintiq, I used for several years a Wacom Intus, which is a screenless tablet. Despite the looks, they are just as valuable as screen tablets. I mean, if you are a beginner and you are wondering which one is best, it depends on your taste and on what you're looking for. For example, I know several artists that prefer to keep straight posture and prefer to use screen tablet so they can go they can do straight into 
the screen instead of you know curving your back in order to draw directly on the screen which is usually lower i also find it very comfortable in that way there are very good screenless tablet out there and you can absolutely produce professional art with it no matter what so you don't really have to have a screen tablet so if you're a beginner and you are wondering what to get do a little bit of research to know what you're looking for and what are your preferences but if you're looking for something on a budget and you're a beginner a screenless tablet is usually a cheaper alternative so keep this in mind my tldr on this is just don't get discouraged by the fact that these tablets don't have screens because they are just as good as the screen ones.
And if you're curious about something that I haven't covered or you have any doubt, please feel free to write down in the comments. I'll try my best to reply to everyone and clear the doubts. I'll also be including the link down below if you want to get it for yourself. And I hope this was useful. And if it was, smash the like button. If it wasn't, feel free to click the other button. And I'll see you next time.